So you'll be aware if you follow our channels that Mac 2020 has been postponed until uh, January 2021. I'm here at DMG Morris uh, with uh, Steve Finn. Um, Steve, this is one of the machines that you were going to be showing at the event, isn't it? Can you maybe tell us about this machine, uh, the NTX? Well, the NTX comes in various models. This is the medium-sized one. We go up to a larger op opportunity and a smaller one as well. The smaller one is actually really good in the medical industry. Um, so it's a multitasking application. And uh, you've got milling, turning, gear cutting, grinding, all sorts of operations. On and it. is that what you were going to be showing at the, at the Mac show? Oh, absolutely. We'd have, we would have demonstrated the machine's total capabilities. We would have had a very large shaft on here that have been doing gear cutting, gear hobbing, gear skiving. Um, we would have been doing some uh, heavy milling operations, offsetting the Y axis, obviously, because you've got an independent Y, um, and of course, your robust turning. And now, but beyond the capabilities of the machine, what, what about the build of this machine? Talk, talk me through, let's start maybe with the, the B axis and the spindle wheel, because I look at that and I think it's almost as wide as it is high. It's quite, quite compact, isn't it? It's very compact, so it's really good if you're going from, from one spindle to the second spindle. Uh, you're using long tools, you get minimum interference there. Um, it's our own spindle design. It comes with a three-year warranty, full three-year warranty, um, and it's called the Speedmaster Spindle. So it's quite unique to us. We're in control of that for quality uh, and obviously price as well, which is attractive. Now, is it a Capto? Because I noticed your, your, your tool changer here as well. It is Capto. It's a Capto. We can have it with HSK um, or even BT, actually. The BT is not very common, but uh, we have some with HSK in the UK. Capto is the biggest uh, option that we sell. Now, I notice by looking at the tool changer here, you've got over about 70 tools in, in this particular 76. machine. Yeah, yeah 76. I think sometimes I look at mill turn machines and they might have 20, 30, 40 tools and I think to myself that really is, that, that can become a problem because this machine is all about setting it, standardising, making sure you can keep every aspect of it moving and, and that really helps doesn't it? It really helps because this kind of machine is about low volume, high variety. So the idea is you can get components through the workshop quickly and, and in one hit situation. So to have a, a big tool magazine is a huge advantage. And you may, say, have some runners that come through every month where you want to make one or two, leave the tools set, leave them in there. Uh, of course, with the Capto system, you can have multi-tools on there as well. So there is opportunities to go higher than 76. And uh, when you mentioned earlier about the smaller model um, working well in the medical industry, you're talking very high precision machine in there. Um, and especially if you're doing long runners, how do you maintain the, the you know, maybe the, the, the precision on the machine? Has it got some thermal elements to it, thermal stability here to maintain the tolerances? Yes, the, the machine is designed very symmetrically. So therefore there's an independent Y axis, uh, which comes out, which you can control. Um, the Z axis is independent sideways as well. So you've got a lot of control thermally. The machines uh, from most of the Mori product range are very, very uh, good on production from a thermal capacity point of view. Mm. So doing small, accurate parts is really, really important. Mm. Um, and the smaller machine, again, it can, we've got customers that are telling us they're holding a few microns all day long. There's obviously a warm-up period, as with any machine, um, but once that warm-up has happened, very, very stable. And it would probably um, be right of me to suggest that even though this is the 2000, you can still do those smaller intricate components on here as well as the heavier machining too. Yeah, I mean, you've got that capability. So we sell this particular machining to a lot of uh, jobbing shops that want flexibility and they want to do from very small components up to the maximum size and often beyond what the machine can do as well, actually, which people find a way around it. Um, so you can do it. Um, the accuracy is there, the, the precision is there, it's just the, the, the fundamentals of the tooling, basically. And sometimes, Steve, when I look at these machines, and I, I don't know whether this is the case with DMG Mori, but you, know, you don't have to have the bottom turret, but I think, why would you opt for a mill turn solution without that? Because having that there means you can incorporate both of those axes at once, balance, turn, machine on the back while you're machining on the front. That gives you that extra versatility, doesn't it? Yeah, if you go back many years ago, bottom turrets were introduced to give you very high accuracy, maybe sub 10 micron turning. Well, you can achieve that in the top turret with Capto and HSK, which are equally as accurate, which you wouldn't question in a machining centre. But there's other opportunities you can use the bottom turret for. Maybe use it for a centre or a steady. So you can bring the centre in uh, on smaller components where you don't want to bring the, the, the sub spindle, the second spindle in. 
So that's really useful opportunity. And of course, leaving fixed tooling, balanced turning, as you say, on long shafts, absolutely superb. And one of the attractions to me, Steve, about DMG Mori being located where you are here in Coventry is people can come and see this, but not only see it, they, they can purchase it. It's available from stock, isn't it? Yes, this machine was due to go to Mac. Mac, has, uh, as you said, is actually deferred now. So this is available for sale. We have more machines coming behind it. Um, so we have no problems there. Um, yeah, come along to, to the showroom and have a look. Final point on the commercials, competitively priced? Very competitively, as always. Value for money, sir.